Hey y'all, um, I just wanted to come to you all today and let you know what was going on in the city of Atlanta. Um, this weekend we had the 8th annual con 13th Congressional some sort of job fair. It's a it's a long title, unnecessarily long title. Um, so for the job fair for myself, I live about 20 minutes from the site, um, but it took me two hours to get there. So I understand there, like myself, I need a job. There are thousands of other people who need jobs too. So I understand, um, I understand the the traffic, and I, under, I I appreciate the fact that people are progressively looking for work. So that's cool to me. You know, no worries. What I did not appreciate was, as I pulled up in there, I saw a sign that says job fair over. Hmm, can't be so because I haven't got in yet. <laughs> so I parked, had to park on the street on Camp Creek, um, leave my car. I was like, please don't get towed. So I parked kind of in between some cars. So they had to tow those first to get to me. And I was like, okay, well, I'll be back by then. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that was that. I get in there and they had to they have quite a few vendors. It was a lot of vendors, actually. It was quite a bit of vendors. I don't know why my eyes look red. It's quite a bit of vendors. Um, but the only thing was, 98% of them wanted you to apply online. Are you taking applications, resumes? Nope. Apply online. So it was basically pointless because I knew that you, I can apply online. You know what I'm saying? But from, from the radio announcement and the flyers or whatever, it was that, you know, where you're... Wear your professional attire, bring your resume, and they're doing interviews on the spot. Maybe I got there too late, but I didn't hear, see any of that going on. But, um, yeah, so to me, that was kind of a fail. Um, the good thing about being at the World Convention Center today was that I was able to see the, the, the preparations for the natural hair show tomorrow. So we have the National Hair Show going on in Atlanta as well. Very excited about that. That's to be Saturday, Sunday. Um, I stole a flyer. Well, the lady was giving them out, and I was just like, I already know, but give me it anyway. <laughs> so it's the World Natural Hair Healthy Health and Beauty Show. Um, and that's the first model that they chose. And she's really pretty. Her locks are gorgeous. Her makeup is gorgeous. Her airbrushing is gorgeous. Um, it's sponsored by Talia Wajid and the Rasta people that make, um, damn, that make that oil, the mango and lime oil. I don't want to say Rasta people like I'm like I'm I'm not ignorant, ignorant so I'm not saying like Rasta people but the people that make that oil the mango and lime oil and stuff so it's sponsored by them and it's tomorrow like I said 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. they'll have free consumer professional workshops and classes over 120 exhibits it's ten dollars to get in at the door and it's free for children under 12 so don't be like I don't have a babysitter you have no excuse ladies be there be there so. I'm very excited. The location, if you don't know, um, the Georgia International Convention Center, Halls A and B, um, 2000 Convention Center Concourse, College Park, Georgia, 30337. So, like I said, ladies, please be there. Please, please, please be there because I will be in attendance. Um, I didn't wear anything major today after I deep conditioned my hair. What's that? Oh. After I deep condition or I washed my hair with the Shea Moisture Retention Shampoo, I didn't use much of it. This stuff is thick too. That's what I meant to tell y'all. This stuff is like thick. Um, so I washed with that, put the deep treatment mask on, and I sat for maybe three or four hours. And then I leave in. I use my Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner, and I twisted my hair up last night. Prior to me twisting, I put um some of the coconut and hibiscus um style curl and style milk and I just twisted it up now I admit my hair is not as soft as the first time that I used it I don't know if that's because I washed it first or what not what I did to kind of just kind of create and generate some softness and some moisture as well I used my virgin um virgin coconut oil and I got this for $9.99 at um GMC yes yeah, so all this stuff is $9.99 that's $40 um for my makeup same routine for the most part. Um, I used my NC50 Studio Finish Concealer. I used my 
NW45 foundation, Studio Fix foundation. With the brush, not the little pad thing that comes in. Um, For my blush. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, got to go on my makeup kit. For my blush, I am wearing Copper Tone by MAC. On top of that blush, and just maybe a little hints around my face, I am wearing my e.l.f. bronzer that I bought yesterday at Target for a dollar. That's in warm tan. For my shadows, and you can see my face good here, the fact that it's like all bumped up. This is my breakout, and it hasn't went away yet. And I know I, I haven't been doing anything to my face. Like, I haven't worn makeup in a, uh, maybe the whole time. But today, you know, I know I was going out. So I put on a little makeup, and I'll probably wash this off as soon as I'm done with this video. But, yeah, you can see my breakout. But, yeah, for my eyeshadows, oh, for my eyebrows, my eyebrows, I'm wearing my Brown Down by MAC. For the beginning of my eyebrow, I am wearing my Embark by Matt, and I know I need more, but, you know, we're going to use this first. Like I said, college girl, <sighs> budget, looking for a job, don't have one. You know, hence I went to the convention center today to look for one. But, um, for my eyeshadows, I have the Periwinkle on my lid. I have the Moon or Stardust on my crease. I have the um, brown tan or tan brown on my um, uh, highlight as my highlight. And then I have a little bit of the ivory just in the corner of my eye. And also, just, I didn't put a lot so you can't really see it. But just to add on a little depth, I put um, a little bit of my bark on the outer corner but you can't really see it oh and like I said I twisted my hair last night and I did one perfect flat twist and I refused to take it out this morning I was like I'm not gonna take that out it's not perfect flat twist so I just did I just left it there and just brushed the rest of it up and this scrunchie is really tight because I wrapped it around twice but this is the first time that I've used it so it's really tight to me um oh for my lashes for my lashes I am wearing Maybelline's falsies and for my lips, I am wearing Max Nymphet. Boom, Nymphet. You can't really see it, but that's what it is. Trust. Yeah, that's my whole look. I just have on just a shirt, a belt. Maybe I'll stand on this. <laughs> a peplum skirt. Um, and I have on this ring. I think I got from. Ashley Stewart and for my shoes I wore my bamboo wedges I got these in New Orleans well the X <laughs> bought these in New Orleans um they're bamboo and there was the store was called damn I can't think of the store but yeah that's what I wore and then I have on just some little stud earrings and I think these are from Ashley Stewart together so yeah that's pretty much it. I'm going to go wash my face and, and, and relax or whatever. But yeah, I hope to see every last one of you natural girls who rock. Because you do, number one. Number one. Number one, you rock. And number two, I hope to see you. Oh, there is the curl and style milk that I use too. Yeah, yeah. But um, I hope to see y'all tomorrow and, and Sunday. Because like I said, I'll probably be there both days. So I'm very excited about the natural hair show. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but um yeah that's all I want to talk to y'all about oh yeah for my primer my lid damn I don't even feel like reaching for it I use the elf um lid um 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 primer but yeah that's it y'all see you tomorrow I'll let you all know how the natural hair show went this week probably not tomorrow probably Sunday or whatever because I do have a life. But anyway, y'all, go enjoy this sun. You see this sun? This is natural sunlight from my room. It is beautiful outside. I know that we were devastated um, in parts of Alabama and parts of Georgia from the tornado that came through. And I said my prayers and condolences to anyone who lost a loved one or anyone who lost anything whether it be a house a car anything so i want to send my condolences out but today it is very beautiful and i want everyone to go enjoy that and again see you tomorrow okay all right bye y'all